In this video tutorial for Grand Prix Race Manager, we will cover step 3, which is going through the report settings to set your preferences when generating reports. This tutorial is using version 22 of the software. However, this step applies to all versions of Grand Prix Race Manager. To get to the report settings screen, go to the overview tab of the main screen and click on the shortcut button for step 3. That will open up the report settings screen. This screen has several tabs to it. We will start off with the general tab. First is the report files section. You can specify the location of the report files that you will generate. If you want to change where reports are saved, click on the location button and select the desired folder. In the report image section, you can opt to use a stock image or your custom image on eligible reports. The image will be displayed on the top of the first page of those reports. If you want to use the report image, check the Enable Report Image box. You can select the image by clicking on the Image button. Select the image, then click on the Open button. On most of the reports, there is a header on the top of the first page of the report. There are two titles there that you can set to fit your race event. Often, Report Title 1 is used for the event's name or organization's name. If you wish for your entry into Report Title 1 to be used as the default for any new data files that you create, then check the default box. Report Title 2 is frequently used for the race date. If you click on the Use Current Date button, then the software will insert the current date for that title. With that box checked, any future data file that you create will use the date that you created that data file. If you wish to put some other information into Report Title 2, then make sure that the Use Current Date box is not checked. To use that same entry for any future data files that you create, then check the default box. Note, setting default report titles and setting current date are pro-only features. In the Report Fonts section, you can configure the fonts of the two title lines and the report name. You can also set the font color for each of those. To change the font for one of these, click on the appropriate font button. From the font selection screen, you can see the list of fonts installed on your computer with the font names displayed in that particular font. From this screen, you can also select the font size. Select the desired font and size and then click on the select button. Note, not all fonts installed on your computer are compatible with PDF reports, so you might need to select a different font. To set a report font color, click on the appropriate color button. You can select one of the displayed colors or you can create a custom color to use. To create a custom color, click on the plus button. You can move the slider to select a color group. To select a particular shade, click on that shade from the color display area. If you know the color code for the desired color, you can type the color code into the box. Once done, click on the select button. In the Racer Name Display section, there are a couple of settings. There is some concern about posting names of kids on the internet. So, if you will be posting reports on the internet, you can protect the names of the racers by only showing their first name and just their last initial. For the Vehicle Stats reports, there is a drop-down list of racers that you can select from. The Sort Racers list by setting affects how that list will be sorted. In the miscellaneous section, you can opt to filter the report data for many of the reports by the data in the custom field. Currently the custom field is set to store car names for each racer, but you can store any data that you want in the custom field. That can be configured back in the software settings screen. If you enable the filtering, you will see a drop-down list on the report screen that you can select from. On the Check-in Sheet tab, you can configure what is displayed on that particular report. The Check-in Sheet is meant to be a checklist for the major inspection items during your check-in inspection. The inspection items that are listed on the Check-in Sheet can be configured however you like. You can set up to eight inspection items for your inspectors to check for. You do also have the choice of either displaying the racer's name or custom field on the Check-in Sheets. You may not want to put the racers' names on the check-in sheets if the sheets will be kept with the vehicles on the staging table. That way, the design judges will not know who any particular vehicle belongs to. Next up is the Vehicle Number Labels tab. 
This is if you wish to print out vehicle number labels to apply to the vehicles during check-in. You would use Avery 5408 label sheets, which are 3 quarter inch circles, for this report. You can adjust the page margins of the report to align it to the label sheets. It is recommended to print the report on plain paper first, then compare the printout to a label sheet. Adjust the margins as needed. For this report, you can also adjust the font type, sizing and color of the number labels. Lastly, is the Award Certificates tab. There are several things that you can configure for the awards and participation certificates. You can either print the certificates onto certificate paper or use a background image to give it that look. To use a background image, check the Enable Certificate Background box. You can use the image provided with the software or click on the Image button to select a different image. You can adjust the font type, sizing and color for the text printed onto the certificates using the provided buttons. For award certificates, the award name is what you give the award, for instance, first place design. For participation certificates, it will be the award title that you set in the next section. The vehicle info is the vehicle number. It will also include the custom field if you select that option in the miscellaneous section. The report titles are the two title lines that you set back in the general tab of this screen. For participation certificates, you can set the award title that will be displayed on each certificate. If you wish to print out Turtle Award certificates, you can set the title for those certificates. Turtle Awards are generally given to the slowest racers that can still cross the finish line. Not everyone can make a really fast car, but it can be a challenge to make the slowest car that will still cross the finish line. It is recommended to use Best Gas Mileage as the title, as that puts more of a positive spin to that award. Lastly, for the certificates you can opt to display the car number and or custom field data for the racers or choose not to display these. For more information on report settings, you can click on the Help button. When you change any settings, make sure to click on the Save button. Once back to the main screen, you can see that the completed box for Step 3 has been automatically checked for you. This completes our video for Step 3 report settings. Stay tuned for our video for Step 4, where we will cover the hardware settings.